So one people, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today we have come to Atlantis. We haven't done this in a long time. Me and Sajid Bhai have not gone for seafood in ages. So today we're gonna go do that. And we're going to Saffron. Saffron, yes. They got some Canadian crab legs. They've got some amazing lobsters. Omani it's lobsters. Omani lobsters. Surf and Turf is the theme tonight. So we're gonna try that out. And then after that we're gonna get back to you with the review. So this is Atlantis right on the iconic Palm Jumeirah Island. We are right now heading to Saffron, which is one of the 23 restaurants that you find at the Atlantis. Valley parking at the Atlantis is about 150 dirhams, but since we're dining at the restaurant, we'll be sharing our space with some really cool cars. The interiors of Atlantis might remind you of Aquaman with all those glass carvings and the beautiful roofs, but that's actually the theme of Atlantis. If you're spending some more time at the Atlantis, you will also get the opportunity to see some really cool big aquarium. This is basically for the underwater restaurant that's Oceana, which is quite an interesting place. But let's not dive from the topic. Let's get into Saffron and check out the seafood. Hello, thank you. As soon as we entered, we jumped in right to get ourselves some grilled lobsters, shrimps, a bit of squid curry and also some baby octopuses so it was quite interesting to find all of that right in one place it was time to try out those alaskan crab legs and i head to the sashimi bar where there was a variety of stuff especially a lot of seafood on ice like shrimps clams and also oysters but no trace of those alaskan crab legs i finally got to know that we need to ask the chef to get us those and unfortunately there aren't any utensils to break open those crab legs which is why we did not record while we were eating as it was a mess i wasn't really interested to have dim sums or any other meat for that matter uh, but i still tried out some of the beef which is medium well done and was pretty good thank you there we go. thank you so much Watching a chocolate fondue was really therapeutic and a lot of dessert right there was ah I couldn't I couldn't just stay away from it so I did try a bit of few and they were pretty good. The salad bar was interesting as well, a mix of seafood, a mix of chicken, tofu and a lot of other stuff but unfortunately I didn't really get to try most of them because they were closing down the kitchen. Okay guys so we are let me get some photos. Okay so we are back and uh, the food was it was good. It was good. It was uh, too bad, too busy. It was. It was. Yeah. It was busy, but uh, we didn't eat enough. Yeah, I would agree on that. We didn't eat as much. I soiled my shirt here and there, but uh, that's because they did not really have the utensils to open up a Canadian crab leg. We did the most damage we could. Yes, we did. But the a given lot of time, we were uh, we were here by 9:30. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I try and be here at least 15 minutes, 20 minutes before your time because they close the kitchen at 11 o'clock. So that gets a little inconvenient. But yeah, I mean, overall the food was was good. We didn't get to eat much. I think uh, the lobster was good. The lobster was good. The lobster was grilled, so it's good. But remember, whoever's coming here, you're always going to expect a lot of cold seafood than hot. So that's something that, I mean, depends on what your, your taste is like. So yeah. Until next time. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Till then, this is Harry Log signing off. And so goodbye. Cheerio. Cheers.